Well, good morning. Today is Monday, September 13th. Today would have been my dad's birthday. He would have been 96. 96, it's hard to believe. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> he passed away when he was 58. He's been gone a long time. That's it's too long, I'm telling you. 38 years. It's, uh, too soon. Too soon he went. Too soon. But happy birthday, Dad. <clears throat> Oh, look, there's somebody. I'm at the library right now, but I will get into that. <clears throat> but we do have some birthdays today. Today is Crystal Saez, S-A-I-Z, Crystal. <clears throat> Let's clear my throat so we can sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Crystal. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Jimmy Solomon's birthday. Jimmy, I wouldn't forget you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jimmy. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Marie Perez. I wouldn't forget you, Marie. You knew I wouldn't forget you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marie. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And Kathy over at Roman's Joy. That's the name of her channel. Today's Kathy's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kathy. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope all of you have a great birthday. Um, I didn't get to go for a walk today because it was raining. It's starting to clear up a little bit now. This got an electrician guy coming. I hope I'm not in his way. Well, I'm in a parking spot. I shouldn't be in his way. We're doing a lot of rewiring around here. Um... My video went up very late yesterday, so I apologize for the people that didn't get their song on their actual day. Uh, I started uploading it at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and um, we had not a storm. Well, we had a thunderstorm. It wasn't like a storm storm. It was just like a, a rain. You know, it was raining, and it was thundering and lightning. But um, they must have hit one of the uh, boxes or something. I don't know. But my internet was out. So um, I, I kept trying between, you know, all every hour or so, and it wasn't working. My TV worked and my phone worked, but the internet was down. Uh, it was, like, spotty, I guess. So, like, I, I started uploading it at 7.30, and I just left it on there. And it didn't actually upload completely until about 1.15 in the morning. So I apologize. It was I tried my best. I really did try my best to, to get it done. But um, it, it didn't work. And as you can see, my colleagues are going correct crazy today. They decided that today was the day they wanted to make an appearance. And so they're out and about showing off. Um, but anyway, like I said, I didn't get to go for a walk. And uh, I think I'm going to go for a walk this afternoon because it's supposed to clear up. But I had a lot of running to do. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if maybe my seat's in the way. Yeah, my seat's in the way. I'm at the library right now because I have to bring my books back. Pretty Little Wife, I read it already, I checked it out again, uh, Tell No One, which was a good book, I read that one too, and then um, I started reading Home yesterday, and um, it, uh, I haven't read it, so I was afraid that I had already read it, and then um, I have to bring my other book, you can't see the address though, to me, I gotta go to the post office, so we got, we got lots of running to do today, and uh, I forgot my microphone, so you're not going to get a driving vlog, which drives my kids crazy, so I'll, I'll at least, you know, make them happy that I'm not driving and talking on the on the phone. Or, you know, like, well, I am on the phone. It's my, where I do my filming. But um, I, uh, I just want to uh, get some stuff done today, and I got lots to do. So why am I sitting here talking with you? We got lots to do, so... Got my mask. I wear my mask all the time now. I know I'm I'm double vaccinated and the whole bit. And uh, I don't know. Friend of uh, my daughter-in-law, Cindy. They both got COVID, and they gave it to both of their boys, who are handicapped. Um, and one passed away yesterday. One of the boys passed away yesterday, and the other one's just hanging on. So, and uh, they didn't believe in the. Uh, and getting the vaccine, which I, I understand. I understand people's reasoning, I, I guess. I try to understand. But the, the, the one excuse that drives me crazy is when they say, 
Well, they're tracking me then. They're putting a chip in me and they're tracking me. And I'm thinking, I bet you own a phone. I bet you carry that phone everywhere you go. And, you know, that phone is tracking every move you make. And I don't care what you say. I can be talking right now to somebody about something. I'm going to make an example of this. I'm going to talk about um, buying a truck because David's still looking. You know what? As soon as I get done here and I go on Facebook, I'm going to get all kinds of advertisements for buying a truck. So don't tell me that they're not listening in because I know they are, but I don't care. I I haven't got anything secret that I'm talking about. So, okay, we can't, we can't sit here. You know, if I want to babble with you every five minutes when I stop at every place because I've got lots of stops today, we're never going to get, we're never going to get through this vlog. So let's get, let's get a crack of lacking. Well, I couldn't figure out why it was so crowded here until I got in there and I realized it's story time. <laughs> There's like all the little ones. I just love seeing little ones so interested in getting their books and reading and looking around and seeing which books they wanted. Anyway, this is the book I got, The Richie Boy's Secrets. Uh, there was a special, uh, not a special, there was a story on 60 Minutes last week about the Richie Boy's and uh, it's about World War II. Um, and I like historical historical books history was my favorite subject in school so i do like reading historical books um so i thought i'd try that one out when i finish home and then um the other book i ordered was the good girl because carrie carrie where are you we're all looking for you where are you um she recommended the good girl but somehow when i ordered it i ordered a paperback and i guess i'm kind of snobby i don't like paperbacks in a pinch i'll read a paperback but i don't like paperbacks so I had to reorder it. And then they don't, they had a hardcover, but only in large print. I don't know that I'm going to like that either. But at least it's a hardcover. So, okay, we're on to our next stop. Let's get a crack of lacking. Okay, we're at our second stop. And I picked up some new glasses. So I want your opinion, which ones you like better. I'm going to wear them both, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm just kind of curious. I like them both. These are my, obviously ones I got last year. So let's see what I got for this time. Got these. Which I kind of like. They're a little different. What do you think? I know my hair. But these are the ones I got there. And then put these back in there. They obviously don't know me. They think I'm a girly girl. I am not a girly girl. These are not the kind of uh, no, these are not, this is not the glass case I like. If anybody likes it, let me know. <laughs> anyway, see these, they got the little, uh, maybe because, oh, they probably come with that. I didn't realize that they had the flowers on the side, even when I looked at it. I didn't look at the sides. I like the, I like the, what do you call it, the frame. So, these are the ones I'm going to wear right now, but just kind of curious which ones you like. So, on to our next stop. Let's get a crack of lacking. Well, I went into BJ's, I got gas, which I got a really good deal on the gas. And then I went in to get my winter supplies. I wanted to get them now where I can get it over with. I was hoping to spend 300. I ended up spending 350. So I was just about $50 over. I mean, that's still a lot, but there was a couple things that I didn't think I needed, but I got, I got my Halloween candy now while I was out. So that was probably my extra $50 that I wasn't planning on spending. But I'm all set for Halloween now, so that's all that matters. Okay, now we're going to go to the post office. And then hopefully that should be it because it's 1 o'clock and I haven't eaten yet. And I'm getting kind of hungry. I didn't buy food. Well, I mean, I take that back. I bought food, but I didn't shop hungry. So um, the things I bought were necessity things. You know, like I got peanut butter and jelly and some of my beans and... Um, my salad dressings and my canned goods and dish soap and things like that boring stuff i'm not gonna even do a haul because it's just boring stuff but i'm all set as far as my pantry goes for the winter um i obviously i get my fresh produce weekly and then uh, i still have to get some more meat i have probably i think i have like eight roasts in there and i know i have chicken legs for jim in there drumsticks i do have uh probably about 20 burgers I got my turkey sausages I got my bacon things like that so um, still got to get a few more things but I, I kind of 
lately, especially now with everything going around, I just like to be home, not shopping. So, okay, enough of that babbling. Let's go on to the post office. Well, I did stop at first at Kroger's, but I didn't show you what I got because I only got bananas. That's all I got was at Kroger's. I was looking for some pumpkin puree. So let me tell you, it's like looking for gold. I think that's the new toilet paper is the pumpkin puree. And then I stopped at the dollar store because I needed some envelopes. So now we're on our way to the post office. And then I think, pretty sure I should be done for the day. Go home and eat. So let's go see what uh, if I got any mail in my mailbox. Okay, I'm at the post office and I did get mail. Uh, the mail I mailed should be to you by Thursday, they tell me. So anyway, it's my first letter. It says, happy birthday to you. Sandy, just think of your birthday as a happy thank you from all the people who feel so lucky to know you. All of us whose lives you made better, whose hearts you've made happier, whose days you've made brighter, time and time again. All of us who feel so grateful to have you in the world and in our lives. Thank you from Kathy Wolseley. Kathy, thank you so much. Sandy, happy birthday. Enjoy, enjoy your birthday month. You make my day brighter on YouTube every single day. Thank you. Smoky Cat 100. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Like I said, all month long, I drive people gray, gray. But then I got two cards. Oh, no, I did. Duh. Sitting right here on my lap. Let me see what I got. I was thinking it was the envelopes I just bought over at the dollar store. And I'm thinking, why do I have the envelopes on my lap? Struggling to get the letter open. This is like really gluey, gluey. Heard it was your birthday. This is a belated birthday wish. Happy birthday to you, Sherry Johnson. How cute. A handmade card. I love handmade cards. Well, thank you so much for remembering me on my birthday. You're just too kind. You're just too kind. All right, it's getting late now, and I am getting hungry. So I want to go home and eat a balanced meal. Um, I did weigh myself this morning. I am going back to just weighing myself on Thursdays because uh, it showed that I gained a pound. And I've really been staying on plan. And I had an excellent, excellent weekend. So the only thing I can think of is it's a sodium gain. And like I said, your weight fluctuates different days at different times. So I am just from now on, I know I said I was going to do it for September, but I, I think that that's not the right plan for me. So I'm just going back to just weighing myself on Thursdays. So, but I'm very proud of myself because even though I knew I had a pound gain today, I love, love, love the chocolate chip cookies at the, uh, uh, BJ's. I know that they're a store-bought cookie, but in my mind, they're not because they came from the bakery. <laughs> but I didn't buy any cookies. And then I was going to buy the whole pack of cookies, and I thought, no. And then I was just going to get the one cookie at the at the counter that cost a dollar, and I said, no, I'm going to go home and have a healthy breakfast. So let's see what I have. Because um, the next time you see anything will be my breakfast. My perfect day. I have to turn the light off. Well, I had to turn the light on because it's so dark. Let me show you how. Look, and it's only 220. It's so cool. Look, I'll turn the light off. Oh, I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. Perfect way for a birthday month. And it's thundering and lightning. I got home just in time, although I won't be able to go for a walk. I got a glare. Oh, from the, the flashlight automatically comes on. Let me go from up there. There, no. Anyway, perfect day. Well, when I got home from, before I put my groceries away, I had a small bowl of watermelon. So I don't think I'm gonna be eating dinner. I'm just gonna eat this and probably snacking on something later on. But uh, this is my brunch, liner, maybe, I don't know. Today is Monday, September 13th. My quote is, if you don't at least try, you will never know if you would have succeeded. Um, four points for my ounce of cheddar cheese, two points for my toast, three points for my tablespoon of peanut butter, four points for my bacon, and zero for my tea, eggs, berries, and I forgot my banana. So it's a 12 point meal. Um, the bottom piece of toast is just dry, the peanut butter on the top. Well, I didn't end up eating dinner. Um, 
Not because I'm trying to lose weight or anything. Well, I am trying to lose weight, but that wasn't the reason I didn't eat dinner. I ate my breakfast so late, and then I forgot I had a Zoom call. Well, I didn't forget that I had a Zoom call. I was a little late getting on the Zoom call, but then my internet was acting up again, and I kept getting kicked off the Zoom call with my cousin uh, Lynn and Dale and Paul and Ka not Paul because Paul was working, Kathy and Michael and my sister-in-law Molly. But I kept getting kicked off, so I called AT and T and they boosted my signal. So it seems to be working, although now I'm looking at my box over there and it's flashing. So I don't know how long this video is going to take to upload. Um, but like I said, I just, I really wasn't that hungry. I'm probably going to have uh, a peach and maybe a couple pretzel rods later on tonight just to kind of hold me over. In the morning, I have to bring Alyssa to get her COVID shot, or not COVID shot, her vaccination for, um, yeah, for COVID. So she's... I, She's getting it done at the doctor's office. So Alyssa's 14. So we're going to bring her to do that. And then uh, see how long the video takes to upload. <laughs> Who's to know? Who's to know? It stayed dark for almost an hour and a half. It was like, oh, I was in heaven. It was just so nice. But, okay, that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button. Share it if you think somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.